Hey YouTube, DB Snapshot in Cardano. How do you do it? That's the golden question. So I searched around and, and uh, so all credit goes to the Eden Garden Pool. Um, I, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so this wasn't, uh, I didn't invent this procedure. Um, I got it from him and uh, I'm just gonna do another copy for the internet so uh, more people can find it quicker. It took me quite a while to find this information. Um, it's a, you know, I had a good guess when they, you know, DB snapshot uh, what it was, but um, yeah. So I was, was there a quick way to do it? You know, how, how, how was the best way to do it? So yes, um, to answer probably the golden question, uh, a DB snapshot in Cardano, it, you're just copy pasting the DB folder from one server to another. Uh, it's easier though, if you actually compress it and so compress it first, then, so if what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to update at least one node, um, to the next version, uh, manually, you know, letting it sync up and, um, pretty much a, pretty much a brand new build almost, right? There's, there's instructions. Uh, again, we'll be using the, uh, coin cashew guys. Um, thank you coin cashew. You're the best. So they have a, a, a link right here, how to update a stake pool. So we'll be using their tutorial. Uh, that'll be the next video. This video is just, I'm just gonna show you how to do the DB snapshot because when you go through here or you go through the official Cardano instructions on the, you know, the GitHub or wherever, they, they, everyone, or even in the emails they send you, they send you this and they say, hey, take a snapshot, do this, do this, but no one tells you, hey, how do you take a snapshot? <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna quickly show you guys. So where are we, go back here, okay. So that is it. Okay. Yeah. So you take, you have to update one to the, to the new version, one node, then you were going to take a snapshot and then you're going to set snapshots. Going to essentially, you're going to compress the DB folder and then we're going to file Zilla it to another. I'm not going to show you that step, but that's pretty easy. So you're going to just download the, the compressed file, the tar, the tar zip to your, um, your home server or your home workstation. Then you're going to upload it to your other relay node and your other, and your production node. And then you're going to move it to the Cardano, my node folder, and you're going to uncompress it pretty much. So I'll show you the steps. So let's do it. So go to your relay node that you've already updated. So I've already updated it. Uh, I'll tell you a secret. These actually three, all three of these are already updated, but um, for this video, I can still replicate the steps for you exactly. All right, so um, go to CD node home, which is the shortcut for Cardano my my uh, Cardano my node, and go ls. Let's have a look, and there's the DB folder. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna zip that folder. So tar dash c z v f okay compress uh give it a name so db underscore snapshot doesn't matter what name you give it okay dot tar dot g z okay and a bit of a delay here and then db slash okay so that that command there is going to compress the db folder and into this tar zip okay so that's going to take a little while so i'll pause the video uh, it's working and so i'll pause it and be back in two seconds okay it is done so uh don't worry you can you can ignore this line the socket it, it doesn't matter okay so let's have a look at the folder okay see here we are here's our here's our uh our tar zip file whatever you want to call it okay so now you have to come in you have to file zilla uh download this file to your you know workstation at home and then upload it to your other relay and your producer okay to save time i've already done that so doo -doo. so cd node home Okay, ls, 
boom there it is i also have my current db okay so good practice here would be to um back the back your current db up right so copy recursive r db backspace and give it a name uh db underscore backup backspace that's right syntax yes all right so it'll take uh I'll, I'll just leave the video running i don't think it'll take too long maybe a minute maybe two we'll see we'll see we'll see okay it's done so uh now we have a backup so let's just have a look just have a quick look db db backup and our zip all right so now we need to get rid of the old db because that is what we have to do all right so remove recursive r db bye bye and then the last step is you are going to tar db snapshot dot tar dot gz and you don't have to do a destination because you're it's actually just going to decompress into this folder and it's already you, you we compressed a folder already the db folder so it'll be perfect all right so let, let me just double check the syntax tar x zv f db snapshot tar oh yeah tar yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this will take a second again. I'm just going to pause the video. Okay. So it has decompressed. So quick look here. And you see the DB is now back. So now the last step is you just start, you just start your, uh, start your node up again. So, uh, sudo system control and start cardano node and put in my password okay and let's have a look at glive glive view dot sh okay and it'll take a second. You'll see this. It'll stay e epoch zero because um, it's been down for a little while. Just give it a second. It won't take long. It won't take long at all. Just give it a second. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Don't make me a liar. Come on. Boom. There we go. We're back. That's it. That's a DB snapshot. Okay, so it's not as complicated as it sounds. It actually works pretty good. If, depends on your upload speeds. I'm in a hotel room right now and I'm trying to update all my nodes. And FileZilla right now, not FileZilla's fault, but uh, I'm uploading to a server and it's, it says it's gonna take nine hours for the upload to complete. <laughs> so I don't know. This is a shortcut. If I was at home with fiber, it, this would be a very fast shortcut, but um, if you're in a crappy hotel room with like dial up, <laughs> uh, this probably isn't a shortcut. All right, guys, hope that helped. Uh, leave a comment if you need me to do anything else uh, or, you know, whatnot. And um, I'll do another video pretty quick here. Uh, the whole how to do the whole um, whole upgrade. I'm just going to, you know, word for word, follow these guys step, you know, corn cash is the best. So uh, you just got to follow their steps. You um, yeah. Their, their, their tutorial is excellent. So go ahead and just follow the steps. You can do the database, the actual like migration. You, you can do it after you upgrade the, the, the node. And while you're upgrading the node, uh, well, like while you're following those steps, um, be drop the backup. Um, you can, you know, kind of multitask, um, have your file Zilla, um, uploading it to Cardano, my node because you're working in a different folder. Um, you're working in the Git Cardano node folder, so it doesn't matter. So these are two different kind of steps. So go ahead and do the two at once. So um, upload 
the uh, the DB while you're doing these steps and just follow the steps. Uh, it's not very hard. When you after this step here, there's actually an uh, a, a pop up message. You hit enter. Another pop up message. You hit enter, and then then this one pops up. It asks you if you want to install this. You say no. Then it asks you about the, to update the path variable. You say yes, and relay two. You don't have to do this step or this step or this step. So your second relay, you just have to, you can skip certain steps. You have to update GLive. For relay one, because that's your kind of main, main relay, you have to do this step, this step, this step. You only do this step if most likely for most of us, uh, we, we're probably our, our nodes aren't actually minting blocks yet. So this is actually a, a, um, something um that tells you it's a tool that you use to see like when when you're when you're you're going to be actually minting a block uh when you're going to be the leader so it helps you helps you know like hey if you're going to be a, you're about to mint a block you know don't update your server or don't turn off your server uh or you'll miss out right so uh you don't have this this is also in coin cashew in one of his uh in the other main um, tutorial he explains this so anyways you don't have to i'm 99 of you i'm sure are going to be skipping number five then you're going to be doing this step this step uh you're going to stop your node you're going to update it you're going to do this and while your node stopped um you could then do the database step if you want you might as well uh, do the database step, start your node, and then this last step here just renames your folders because you're going to be working in this folder, the Cardano 2 node, and then it's just going to it's just, it's just going to swap the folders. Anyways, it's pretty easy. Um, I'll make a video, but I just kind of quick walk through. All right, guys, thanks. Uh, smash the like button for me, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.